Hello, today's experiment will be to obtain an estimate of the solute concentration of onion cells by observing the state of plasmolysis. Our experiment is relatively simple. Number one, we'll make a range of concentrations of sucrose solution using simple dilution. And then we'll prepare slides with onion epidermis in each concentration. And then we will count the number of plasmolyzed cells out of at least 50 different cells. And from there, we'll calculate our percentage of plasmolyzed cells. We'll do this for every concentration so we can estimate the solute concentration. First off, we need to calculate the volumes needed for our simple dilutions. According to instructions, we need to prepare um, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 mole per dm cube solutions from a 1 mole per dm cube solution. So the 1 mole per dm cube solution is our stock solution and we will make all solutions from that one stock solution. Okay, now to know how to calculate this, please refer to my previous video on how to perform simple dilutions. Anyways, there should be six concentrations in total, and this is me doing them in real life. I like to um, use the stock solution, which is in this beaker here, and put different volumes into all the different beakers. First label, of course, so 8 cm cube, 6 cm cube, 4 cm cube, 2 cm cube, and then put water in them to fill it up to 10 cm cube. Of course, I'm using the syringe to measure here. The labels on the beakers, the, the lines on the beakers are usually not accurate. So yeah, six concentrations as you can see here, uh, including one and zero, which is just distilled water. I'm just going to put one drop of each of them on the slide and then I'm going to prepare some onion epidermis in order to place on each slide. So the onion epidermis need to be 6 times 6 mm large at least. No need to be accurate here, but it needs to be a small square to fit on the slide and also um, it acts as a control variable. So uh, make sure the sizes don't differ too much. So yeah, I placed the inner epidermis of the onion. So the inner side of the onion, peeled it off, placed it on each slide, and then placed a cover slip on top of each slide here. After this, I actually waited for two to three minutes before I observed it under the microscope. So under the microscope, this is what we should observe. Um, this is a cell that is not plasmolyzed at all, and you can see that the cell membrane, the cell wall, are um, adhere together. When there is slight plasmolysis, the cell membrane tends to pull away from the cell wall. More plasmolysis, it pulls away even more. And when there's complete plasmolysis, it does look like a little circle there. Because, well, in plasmolysis, water diffuse out of the cell. Therefore, there's very little water left in the cell itself, causing the contents to shrink. So this is a clip of me looking at it under the microscope. You will notice this brick-like arrangement of onion epidermis cells. And these are the cells. These are individual cells you're looking at. I'm using a 10 times magnification, by the way. And then all these like water bubbles, yep, that dark thing, you have to ignore that. That's an air bubble. Just ignore it. So this is my result for one mole per dm cube and as you can see here there are cells that are highly plasmalized there are cells that are slightly plasmalized 0 0.8 still has many slightly plasmalized cells 0 0.6 has slightly lesser 0 0.4 however looks like there are none that are plasmalized quite interesting 0 0.2 same and 0, 0.0, which is this distilled water, has no plasmalized cells at all. So here are my final results. So according to the instructions, we need to draw a table with our raw data as well as our processed data. So there are four columns here showing both our raw data, which is total number of cells and number of cells that were plasmalized, uh, and our process data, which is percentage of cells are included. Here, we can see a trend, which is very satisfying uh, for 
concentration 1, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, uh, and 0 0.4. We can see that the percentage of cells that are plasmolytes decreases as concentration decreases. Now, because there are 0% of cells plasmolyzed in 0 0.4 mole per dm cube. We can safely then estimate that the solute concentration of the onion cells is probably in between 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 mole per dm cube. Now the rest of the formatting instructions are here in the mark scheme. Read it carefully but they are pretty much the same for all tables, units, decimal points, so on and so forth. So make sure you get that right and do not lose any marks. That's it for today. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.